Hello and welcome to another update video about sand. Well, I updated sand earlier today already, um, but I think price action deserves another update. Um, in the previous update earlier today, I, I think the price was just sort of in the process of pulling back into this micro support area we talked about. Um, micro support located between 47 cents and 57.4. And the price actually already reacted to it perfectly, actually to that 38.2 retracement, which is typically, if you know about Elliott Wave and how it works and the price structures and what they normally do, these pullback waves, <laughs> um, they often react in a fourth wave to the 38.2 retracement indicating, because it did that, that the wave count is correct. Now on this chart, I'm tracking here after this wave two bottomed in November, an AB, one, two, three, four, five in wave C of a larger third wave, because we have, we're dealing with a larger diagonal pattern, right? Like on many other crypto charts, there's a very clear three wave move up here. Yeah. And then a wave two. And I, I have to assume that this is an AB with an extended C wave. It just makes sense considering the overall context. I mean, alternatively, you can always say maybe the wave one was here and this is some kind of a weird or correction. Uh, it looks weird anyway. And then this is a one, two, one, two, but it doesn't make a great difference now. Yeah, In the end, it might just give us another four, five or something. So um, I think it, considering what many other cryptos are doing, it's, it's considered a diagonal pattern, especially considering that we are moving up in a C wave, right? In the yellow count, that could be a C wave. And you can see how that aligns with the Bitcoin chart that we're tracking here. Um, another four five pattern possibly before a more substantial top forms. I cannot rule out that there is somewhere maybe maybe another four five and then this four five. Um, that's just related to the messy micro action. But for now, support is holding. What we can do now is to just adjust the support area um, accordingly. You know, and um, for now, I can say that I mean this support did hold, so I can remove it from the. Actually, we could move it. Actually, we could move it, you know, in case, in case this was not yet the way four here, and we are still in the third, that would be a reasonable alternative on this time frame. So that means here like this, you know, there's something to track. I mean, it, it does look like a decent pullback and because it hit the FIB level, I think we can call it already way four done, but we could still add um, or adjust it as updated micro support, yeah, because you know, we, only a break below this would really confirm we are in circle four, even though these overlap to a degree now. But um, this just because they are very close together, these uh, swing lows from where I measure the Fibonacci levels. What it basically means is that as long as we're holding about 51.7 cents, it could be that we are still in, um, in wave C of three, right? And everything above that is just noise. So it might do this, it might do this. And it's all part of wave C of circle three. Only a break below 51.7 cents um, would confirm further that we're already in circle four with support between 60.7 cents and 42.9 cents from where we could then rally higher in wave five. Now, please consider that this on the micro level, this circle three could top at any point. It really could. It doesn't look finished yet though. I'd like to see maybe a few more squiggles higher, mm, but it could top on the micro level at any point because it's long enough, absolutely. And then the wave four, five. I see this at the moment as, if I zoom out a little bit, I see this at the, at the moment as a B wave rally. And this B wave is likely, um, let me show you. Or did start here in October 23 with an A wave to the upside. Then we had an overshooting B wave to the downside. And this is now a C wave to the upside, which would be a five wave move. One, two, three, four, five. That's my best interpretation I can offer here. Resistance starts at $1.02. So we have $1.02, $1.53, $2.30 and $4.10 as next resistances. And then from there we could get a rejection. Just all I'm saying is pay attention here to these levels. Yeah, these four Fibonacci levels. I don't assume that at $1.02 it's already over, but it could be. But I would um, prefer to go a little higher before this B wave tops. Bear in mind, B waves can overshoot. So these are the most tricky waves to navigate. 
but so far the price is following the uh, short-term forecast and a break below 42.9 cents at this stage would indicate that we've actually uh, formed the more substantial top yeah and um, okay if we get all five waves up i mean we can explore an alternative maybe it's a wave one and we get a corrective pullback that would be a bullish option but let's first get these five waves completed we're probably sort of in the middle late stages of the third wave then get a four five and that could be a top of the b wave it will depend a little bit on what bitcoin is doing if the pullback afterwards is corrective then we can add a support area and we have a one two setup but for now um both wave counts bullish and bearish are moving together and let's first see if we can get these five waves up and then if the pullback afterwards is corrective yeah we could look forward to all-time highs but we're far away from that and until then i am watching the yellow count okay that's the update about sand hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye